mandatory federal standards for issuing driver's licenses. The Department of Homeland Security is expected to issue new guidelines this week, and states have just over a year to put them in place. Now, Jean Meserve tells us why states are putting up resistance to the law. I definitely don't think this is going to work. But it does. The prankster goes into the Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles and comes out with a valid driver's license, silly picture and all. <laughs> From a security perspective, it is not a laughing matter. After 9-11, Congress mandated tough new federal standards for driver's licenses called Real ID. States are supposed to implement them in little more than a year. Every one of the 245 million license holders in the United States will have to reapply in person with documents that prove they are citizens or legal residents. The states predict it will swamp motor vehicle offices, creating long waits. Currently, each state issues licenses following their own security standards and with their own features. They have no business in our state's business, and that's what they're doing. Arizona State Senator Karen Johnson is sponsoring legislation saying her state will not comply. She says Real ID would invade privacy by creating a large national database of driver information. I mean, Homeland Security is the one that's going to be running this database. Give me a break. Arizona is one of 24 states that has passed or proposed legislation opposing Real ID. The big complaint, the cost, an estimated $11 billion over five years. The biggest expense is likely to be a requirement that states verify the authenticity of identity documents used to get a license. It's verification that not even the federal government can complete for its own employees. Roddy Marshall just got his license renewed in Phoenix in 20 minutes. If Real ID lengthens his wait, it's fine with him. I don't think everybody should just automatically get a driver's license. If it takes, if it takes a day of your time, that's what it takes. Homeland Security is taking an even harder line. If we don't get it done now, someone's going to be sitting around in three or four years explaining to the next 9-11 commission why we didn't do it. Because the next person who tries to get a driver's license may want to do harm to the country, not just get a laugh. <laughs> As you mentioned, Kitty, the Department of Homeland Security is expected to issue long-awaited regulations, perhaps this week, that will lay out the specifics of what states have to do to comply with Real ID. Some are guessing that will fuel the uproar rather than dampen it. Kitty? Jean, what are the consequences to the states of not complying with this law? Well, what the law says, if you don't comply, then your licenses can't be used as federal IDs. That means you can't use them to get into federal buildings. You can't use them to board airplanes. So, consequence for the citizens. Yeah, it seems like it. Thanks very much, Jean Meserve. And coming up, a new arms buildup in Latin America. Venezuela's anti-American...